Well, thank you for joining me on part two of this long-winded farewell uh, chapter. It's not the last one. His farewell goes on and on, it looks like. Uh, yeah, one more chapter. And then we get into the Book of Ether. We're going to need some ether by then. <sighs> 27. And it shall come in a day when the blood of the saints shall cry unto the Lord because of secret combinations and the works of darkness. You can say that about almost any age. And future ages. 28. Yea, it shall come in a day when the power of God shall be denied and churches become defiled and be lifted up in the pride of their hearts. They were saying that during the burned-over period when this book came out. Where they invented a whole bunch of new churches, saying the old ones were corrupt. Yea, even in a day when the leaders of churches and teachers shall rise in the pride of their hearts even to the envying of them who belong to their churches. This has been going on and on and on. Look at the popes. Look at our televangelists. I mean, this just goes on and on. I mean, you could apply this at any time. So, I find this incredibly convincing that this is a bunch of shit. All right. 29. Yay. It shall come in a day when there shall be heard of fires and tempests and vapors of smoke, like what, chemtrails <laughs> in foreign lands. 30. And there shall also be heard of wars, rumors of wars, and earthquakes in divers places. Yeah, well, there's always earth place, earthquakes in divers places. The earth is constantly doing that somewhere. There's just a lot of places it can do it, that's all. So it doesn't seem like it happens too often, but it actually does. 31. Yea, it shall come in a day when there shall be a great, there shall be great pollutions upon the face of the earth. Yeah, did you ever smell Venice back in the day? I mean, come on. You can say that about any age. Yeah, it sounds really bad now, but it's been bad for a long, long fucking time and continues to be bad. Uh, pull up your skirts and scream. It's doomsday. <laughs> Pollutions upon the face of the earth. There shall be murders and robbings robbing and and lying and deceivings which is different somehow more complex maybe and whoredoms well this has been going on forever and I hope they continue and all manner of abomination abominations. Disgusting, but apparently necessary. Otherwise, how do you feel that moral outrage? Little chub chaser. Ugh. When there shall be many who will say, do this, or do that. Yeah, I hate that. All right with this, but that, damn. All right. And it mattereth not if you do this or that. It doesn't matter. 
or the other, this or that, one hand or the other. For the Lord will uphold such at the last day, but woe unto such for they are in the gall of bitterness. Ew. And in the bonds of iniquity. 32. Yea, it shall come in a day when, man, I should have done it. Come in a day. Drinking game. I'd be fucking in a coma right now, but it'd be a good idea. Yeah, come in a day when there shall be churches built up that shall say, Come unto me, and for your money you shall be forgiven your sins. That's pretty old, too. That's what pissed Martin Luther off. One of the things. 33. Oh, ye wicked and perverse and stiff-necked people. Why have ye built up churches unto yourself to get gain? Don't look at me, it was LRH. <laughs> I haven't made up any churches. I made up the church of who gives a fuck. Do your own thing. There you go, it's your own church. You can send a check to my... Oh, that's right, I don't have a PayPal account. Well, in that case, just send fond feelings. How's that? Wish me well. That ought to help. All right. Why have ye transfigured the holy word of God? Yeah, why? Why'd you do that? That ye may bring damnation upon your souls. My grandfather used to say that shit about you guys. Joseph Smith. Yeah, this is his book. This is his copy. It's got his name signed in it. Behold, look ye unto the revelations of God. For behold, the time cometh at that day when all these things must be fulfilled. They must. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. So it better, right? 34. Behold, the Lord hath shown unto me great and marvelous things concerning that which must short, shortly come, eventually, or not. At that day when these things shall come forth among you, will they come forth among us all the fucking time? So oh, any time, right? Or no time at all. Even Harold Camping says, I give up. Yeah. 35. Behold, I speak unto you as if ye were present. Because he's a fucking prophet. He's either just projecting, or he's really like, he can see you in his... his is a Jedi ninja voodoo x-ray vision shit you know, the, from the past to the future. As if you were present and yet you are not. That's the magic of it. You're really not there. But behold, Jesus Christ has shown unto me, shown you unto me, Oh, he's seeing us in prophet camp. Jesus Christ hath shown you unto me. That's kind of making it personal now, isn't it? So what? Are they watching me when I was taking a dump this morning? I hope so. I did well. <laughs> I didn't need to share that. Sorry. It's shown you unto me, and I know you're doing. And I did well. 36. And I know that 
he do not walk in the pride of your heart. You must be talking to someone else. I'm pretty proud of myself. And there are none, save a few only, who do not lift themselves up in the pride of their hearts. Unto the wearing of fine apparel. Pretty snazzy. Unto envying and strikes and malice and persecutions. Not me. And all manner, manner of iniquities. And your churches don't have one. Wouldn't have. One. Yea, even every one have become polluted, including this one. Because of the pride of your heart. 37. For behold, ye do love money. But I can get it. And your substance and your fine apparel. And the adorning of your churches. More than ye love the poor and the needy and the sick and the afflicted. Hey, I, I lean left. Don't look at me. 38. Oh, ye pollutions, ye hypocrites, ye teachers who sell, your, who sell yourselves for that which will canker. Why have ye polluted the holy church of God? Maybe it ain't. Maybe there is no God. Maybe that's it. Why are ye ashamed to take upon you the name of Christ? Because I do a silly thing called thinking objectively about every fucking thing. Everything, including gravity, if I need to. If I have reason to doubt, I'm going to doubt. Believe in? I don't believe in shit. I... It is done. Right. In the name of Christ. I, I used to put that on myself. I told people I was a Christian. For a long time. Like, what? 20 some years. Or so. 19, 20 years. A little more than that, yeah. 20, 21 years. I think I was officially totally an atheist like 23, 24. And I stopped being an asshole about it a little while ago. Although, then I found YouTube and I found out, hey, I can have some fun. Ordinarily, I'm all right about it. I try to hard hide my smirks and I just, I, I just let people have their fun. Why do ye not think that think that greater is the value of an endless happiness. Endless happiness. Wow. You're going to be happy endlessly. That sounds fucking fantastic. That uh, value of endless happiness than that of misery which never dies. Oh, I'm sure it does. I'm in it for the duration, though. Because of the praise of the world. Not getting any of that anyway. <laughs> Don't expect any. Wouldn't it be nice, though, if the world was praising me or at least going, Good boy, you did good. 30 to 39. I didn't do good there. 39. Why do ye adore? Adorn yourselves with that which hath no life. And yet suffer the hungry and the needy and the naked. I'm giving away money all the time to people. I, I, I work downtown. At every intersection, somebody's standing there with a cardboard sign. I try to have singles ready. It's only a dollar, but... It, 
I'm not a millionaire. If I was, I'd maybe sweeten it some. Maybe quite a bit. I feel bad for people that are doing bad. They could be me. I'm not that far off from that. I got a little money, a little safety net, but nothing great. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Could be tremendously better. Astronomically better. Then we're talking about people that hunt elephants for a living like the Trumps. <laughs> I mean, hunt elephants for fun, excuse me. Hey, there's an endangered species. I got it. How about the Trumps and the Bushes go hunting together? <sighs> Suffer the hungry and the needy and the naked. Depends on what the naked look like. What do you mean by suffer? You mean... But I don't get that one. I, if someone's naked and they don't got anything to wear, I probably would give them something. If I had something handy. That would make me naked. Because then I'd be the one going, Alright, somebody? Anybody? Oh, shit. That didn't work. No reciprocation. Alright. And the sick and the afflicted to pass by you, or you pass them by, and notice them not. Hang on a second here. Little speed burn. Whoops, I just totally lost my cork. There it is. Oh well. This will kill whatever's growing on it now. Oh boy. I think I'll have a nap after this. Wait, I, I gotta do DNC now. Why did I do that to myself? <sighs> I probably will do DNC. Maybe I'll do an outdoor DNC sober tomorrow. Uh, or maybe I'll just do one now and then do one tomorrow anyway. 40! Yay. Why do ye build up your secret abominations. If they're abominations, how can they be secret? I mean, like the elephant man could hide it, you know? Uh, or is it just unshowable abominations that it's like bad, you know, Ted Bundy behavior or some shit? That's abominable and it's secret, but I don't know how many people are doing secret, sick, crazy shit. I think most people are right. You're a downer. Moroni. I guess I can understand being the last white guy in America. Those three dudes might have even got whisked up. I'm not sure. We're, we're going into the Jaredites, which is the past. So, fuck. We may never find out. I have to just keep reading my DNC. Maybe, there's, maybe it's there. Ah. Uh. I was stalling. All right. Oh. Can't feel my face. Not quite that bad. To get gain. Wait, why do you build up your secret abominations to get gain? What kind of gain? Money? I don't get this. Secret abominations. I mean, hell, porn stars can go pretty much, uh, oh, hi, yeah, I'm a porn star and i with the PTA. Just kidding. I'm not with a PTA or a porn star. I would probably get stage fright anyway. Yeah. I don't think anyone wants to photograph this. And cause that widows should mourn before the Lord. Well, hey, blame that on the bankers. They're the ones fuck, fucking over the widows and the orphans and everybody else. And they're all good Christians. Just ask them. They all want to go to heaven, too. They've greased up the eye of a needle and to squeeze their camel through. Ah. <sighs> And also orphans to mourn before the Lord, and also the blood of their fathers and their husbands to 
cry unto the Lord from the ground for vengeance upon your heads. Even if you didn't do it. They're pissed and someone's got to take the blame. Take the blame. Alright. 41. Behold, the sword of vengeance hangeth over you. This is all fucking repetition. All of it. Every bit of it. And he had to say that. He's got another chapter after this. All right. And the time soon cometh that he avengeth. He's getting all the hillbilly Shakespeare on us again. The blood of the saints upon you. So look out. For he will not suffer their cries any longer. And that's it for eight. And it was a pain in the ass, but that's how he's wasting the last of his gold. I mean, using the last of his gold. Excuse me. A little tipsy, I think. So I'm going to do some DNC because I'm a masochist. Not really a masochist, but I'm going to do some DNC because I don't know why. I guess I just want to get some more done. And it is getting kind of interesting, actually, in a weird psychobabble kind of way. Amusingly weird. So I hope you'll stay tuned. And if not, I understand. So all I gotta say is, peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Have, have two of them.